Hi there, and thank you for viewing my video today. Um, I will be discussing the 1770 Boston Massacre Trials. To start, we're going to begin in September 1768. It was one of the key dates in this era of history, where the Bostonians saw floods of the British Army landing in Boston, Massachusetts. With an already great distaste for the British, this was the last thing they wanted to see. The governor of the British had sent these reinforcements to restore order. The restoration of order came because importers from Boston would not pay the custom duties that were required of them. The dislike from the Bostonians also came from the soldiers taking jobs around the town. The Redcoats were willing to take part-time jobs while off-duty for half of the cost. This was only a few instances that happened between the Bostonians and the British. On March 2nd, 1770, an issue broke out between a business employee and one of the Redcoats. The employee asked if the soldier wanted to work, and the Redcoat then replied that he would. The employee then responded with, We then go and clean my shit house." The soldier did not take too well to this, as he later returned with other Redcoats insinuating a fistfight. Then two days later, on March 5th, shots rang out from the British muskets, leaving Bostonians dead. What began as a simple argument about paying for merchandise led to a crowd gathering. While this was happening, more and more mobs began to form. Picking up anything they could find, they began throwing stones and snowballs at the Redcoats and even wielding clubs. A man named Hugh White stepped away, loaded his gun, and began to wave it around trying to relieve the tension. As nothing seemed to work, Captain Thomas Preston began anxiously pacing back and forth, worrying what to do. About 30 minutes pass, and he yells, Turn out, damn your bloods, turn out. Lining up in two rows of four, they began to push slowly towards the mob with their muskets at hand. Then a man filled with anger fought back and grabbed one of the Redcoats' muskets and pushed him to the ground. Fire, said Captain Preston. It was then as quick as the massacre ensued, it ended, leaving five Bostonians dead. Captain Preston and his men were later arrested. Captain Preston and a Boston merchant fear the worst. He knew to avoid severe punishment, he needed good lawyers by his side. Enter Josiah Quincy Jr., Robert Auchmuti Jr., and a 34-year-old John Adams. Believing that everyone deserved to be defended, they took the case. After three weeks of hard deliberation, all eight men were found not guilty of murder, and only two of those eight men were found guilty of manslaughter. In this time, this historical event shows that self-defense is still a part of what the law upholds. This also shows that the tensions were able to reach its highest levels and quickly with everything that was going on in Boston at the time. This event, however, was one of, the, one of the events that led to the beginning of a conquest to become independent, the Revolutionary War, April 1775, I think. This, as we all know, was the war that led to the United States being born and becoming an independent country. Thank you for your time. I appreciate you watching the video and I hope you enjoyed it.